Dow Jones and Nasdaq both have shown a good bullish move yesterday and back to critical resistance. I have told you several times 34,250 and 34 and 12,500, 520 levels. Now, important day for both US indices as the world awaits the inflation data. Definitely, it will bring the volatility. So, what to expect? Which position you should take today in order to profit? We will see with the help of charts and indicators. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Do not forget to press the bell icon which keeps you updated with the latest analysis. The next update will be released before the inflation data release. So do watch that also. Definitely it will help you in your trading decision. Let's start. First we'll look into Tech 100 followed with Dow Jones. Do watch till the end. Listen to it carefully. Note down the levels. Trade as per the level. Now see, US 100 on the early charts is trading in this channel here the support levels on the downside are far below 12300 breaking below which only we can expect that there is going to be bearishness and then my favorite number 12200 is anyways is a very very good support now see what it has done on the early charts here is achieving the highs here now see 12500 definitely is a very good resistance level on the upside and remember, I have told you several times, 12400 500 zone is something you should be watchful of. And precisely, it is again trading in the same zone. So, I will recommend you to buy today. If you see it trading about 12510 and then you can expect 12550 So, basically, beyond 12550 consider that it is trying to give a breakout. And possibly, we may see 12660 700 levels again. Now see, this is one part to it. At the same time, if you see the increasing bullishness here, it is trying to trade in this increasingly bullish channel. So I will be definitely watchful of 12,450 levels on the downside and then 12,400. Now 12,400 very strong support, 12,300 stronger and then 12,200 strongest support levels on the downside. Now look at the directional movement is bullish trying to converge. Stock ISTIC has seen a good drop. It has come back to oversold levels. The MACD is seen crossing over for a sell. So next few candles might bring little bearishness on US 100 where it may try to attempt and achieve 12400, 300 levels. Direct RSI is also was overbought now looking downwards here. And if you look at 2R chart, Largely on the 2 hour charts, if you look at it, it has been trading in this channel so far. You can see the highs and lows despite this breakout are very well within the zone here. Now, on the upside, see, first thing is so far on the 2 hour charts, lower highs are seen, lower lows are seen here. I will wait for 12550, 12600 levels to be breached. If it does, then the next target is going to be somewhere here at 12,850, 900. Breaking above this, certainly we can expect that it is reverse and you can expect it to fly high. That is the first part. Now, look at the two hour charts more closely. You can see here the bearishness getting diminished. Once it trades below 12,450 levels, you can expect further bearishness, which might take it till close to 12,400 which is definitely going to act as a major support and then below that 12,350, 300 levels to be seen. On the upside 12,550 something and then 12,600 is you should be watchful of. Now look at directional movement is bullish and it is trying to converge. The stock stick is trading overbought and it is looking downwards. It is bringing little drop. The MACD is trying to converge, cross over for a sell or maybe it can converge and then start to diverge again. Remember one fact on MACD, see it was trading bearish so far, now it has come out of this bearish zone, it is trying to recover a bit. And if you look at RSI, this is also trading near to highs here on the 2R charts. Now look at 3R, same observation on the 3R charts, trading within this channel, complete movements are very well confined within this. Again taking the support from the channel it is trying to rise and now if it continues to do so 12800 900 are again going to be a good resistance now look at the near term charts you will find that on the near term charts it is still trying to trade bearish wait for it to break past 12550 levels beyond which little more bullishness is confirmed for the day you can buy at 12500 but then be watchful of 12550 and 600 levels directional movement is bullish here the stock i stick is looking down it was overbought 
the MACD is in green, it is looking to converge and if you look at the RSI, this is trading flat here. If you look at 4 hour charts, likewise on the 4 hour chart, see, uh, you can see here it has created the base then lower highs from the previous zone, same levels and then this breakout has been seen. Now it has created lower base here and lower highs once again are seen. So on the near term charts, wait for it to a confirmation of a breakout, then we can expect it to rise more. The confirmation of this is good if it trades beyond 12600 and specifically 12800 is something which we all know that if it trades beyond 12400 certainly we can expect it to trade bullish that is the first part. So see rise retracement and if it breaks out it is going to be another good bullish move there. Directional movement is moderately bullish, stochastic is overbought, the MACD, the MACD interestingly has crossed over, this is crossover is happening at a bottom, we can see it rising from here and RSI is at comfortable levels, neither bullish nor bearish. Now look at the daily charts, see first thing to note here is it is trading below this long term bearish channel. So for last two years, Nasdaq has been trading with this within this channel and it was a bearish channel. Now it is broken out. Second is, yes, after taking the support here at 12200, which is definitely a good support, it has tried to recover a bit. Third, it is, it is still giving you lower highs. So for the day, you can buy here at 12500, but then expect that 12550, 600, you have to wait. And once it trades beyond 12600, I will look forward to 12800 zone above which only bullishness is confirmed. Also look at this, the previous candle was almost of 250 points. This candle can be further increasingly bullish which means it can take it till towards 800-900 zone also. Directional movement anyways is bullish, stochastic is seen rising, the MACD has crossed over, this is trading with little divergence and bearishness, hence this is only a bearish indication and also this is this crossover is happening at a high point, possibly it can pull it a little down before it tries to bounce back. The RSI trying to look, so the MACD on the daily charts is something which is contradictory and hence till 12800 you have to remain cautious and alert here. For the day, you can buy at 12400 or 12500 levels and stay alert for 12550, 600, 660, 720, 800. These are the resistance level. Keep booking your profits or keep a trailing stop loss. On the downside, you can sell here at 12450. Rather, I will say 12440. Expect 12400, 12350, 300. Only below 300, we can expect increasing bearishness. We may see 12200 levels and below levels below those. Take your trades accordingly, trade with a stop loss, trade with a trailing stop loss. Now let's have a look at Dow Jones and yes, if you want to learn this art of trading profitably, you should join my mentorship batch. The 28th batch starts in first week of March. Reserve your seats now. Only limited seats are available. Also, you can be part of my signals group. Reach out to me for more details. My telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Now let's have a look at US 30 on the early charts. See, US 30 on the early charts, lows, rise retracement then breakout then retracement so this is still trading in this bullish channel now this time it is uh, failed to achieve the highs and it is trying to retrace on the downside i will look forward to 34 100 as the very good support levels below which only below 34000 only we can expect that it may try to trade bearish or it is looking forward to bearishness now also look at 34,250,260 zone, multiple candles getting the resistance at the same levels which means a flat top and hence this is still trying to trade in the box here 33,700 and 33,500 rather. So these 33,700 to 34,250 levels we should be watchful and observant. Also look at the hourly charts closely you will find 34,150. You can sell there at 34,150 and then expect that possibly we can see 34,100 as a very good support and then 34,000 levels is the next support level. Now look at directional movement bullish, stochastic dropping. The MACD is willing to cross over for a sell and this crossover is happening at a It may bring little bearishness here. Yes, you can sell here at 33, uh, 34,180 levels but then expect 34,150 
वन हंड्रेड एज द वेरी गुड सपोर्ट एंड बिलो दैट अ लिटिल ड्रॉप कैन बी सीन डायरेक्शनल मूवमेंट मॉडरेटली बुलिश स्टॉक एस्टिक ड्रॉपिंग वर्टिकली द मैग डी इज सीन क्रॉसिंग ओवर हेयर फॉर सेल तो सेम ऑब्जर्वेशन आर एस आई स्ट्रेडिंग ओवर बॉट एंड इफ यू लुक एट टू आर यू सी फर्स्टली ऑन द टू आर चार थ्री कैंडल्स एट द सेम टॉप सेम हाइज नाउ वेटिंग फॉर अ ब्रेक आउट हेयर ऑन द डाउन साइड सपोर्ट लेवल्स एग्जिस्ट हेयर टिल ट्वेल्व थर्टी फोर वन हंड्रेड लेवल्स बी वॉचफुल यस नाउ फॉर द डे थर्टी फोर टू सिक्सटी इफ इट ब्रेक्स यू कैन बाय फॉर थर्टी फोर फोर हंड्रेड देन थर्टी फोर फाइव हंड्रेड एंड बी ऑन दैट वी मे सी इट फ्लाइंग हाई फर्दर सो बाय थर्टी फोर टू थ्री फिफ्टी फोर हंड्रेड फाइव हंड्रेड लेवल्स टू बी सीन देयर टू डे इट सेल्फ ऑन द डाउन साइड येस यू कैन सेल एट थर्टी फोर वन एटी बट देन वन फोर्टी वन ट्वेंटी वन हंड्रेड वेरी वेरी गुड सपोर्ट नियर बाइज एंड देन इट मे सी थर्टी फोर थाउजेंड लेवल एज द स्ट्रॉगर सपोर्ट डायरेक्शन मूवमेंट बुलिश स्टॉक आई स्टिक इज ओवर बॉट एंड दैट इज वाइड वी कैन वी आर लुकिंग फॉर टू लिटिल ड्रॉप द मैग डी इज इन ग्रीन ट्राइंग टू कन्वर्ट हियर आर एस आई इज ट्रेडिंग ओवर बॉट आर एस आई इज ऑल्सो नियर टू ओवर बॉट लेवल्स Now look at three R charts. On the three R charts, see flat top resistance at the same levels is good enough for us to understand that it may break out, but then break out will bring increasing bullishness there. Now look at the downside. Yes, you can sell at thirty four one eighty, but then thirty four one forty one hundred, thirty four zero five zero thirty four thousand only below which we can expect that there is bearishness. Look at the directional movement is bullish. Stochastic has uh, see MACD has seen a good rise. Stochastic is overbought definitely. It is looking downwards probably. The MACD is bullish here, but see the candle size is now started to diminish, which means probably there could be little bearishness in the forthcoming candles. RSI trading near to the highs. Now look at the four R charts. On the four R charts, look at previous two candles, higher lows. higher slightly higher highs yes it is trying to give you a flag beyond above and below this zone only you can expect that it is trying to give a direction so for sure 34 260 you can buy then expect little more bullishness on the downside 34 180 you can sell but then 140 100 very very good resistance you have to trail your uh, stop losses till 34000 levels do not consider this as bullish bearish directional movement is bullish stochastic is overbought the macd you can see is divergent and bullish it is seen the highs probably may converge rsi looking down here and if you look at daily charts now see on the daily charts you can see one candle with a tail then flat bottom then a stronger bullish candle two candle move is done and a flat bottom top is seen a breakout is awaited also this is trading near to the highs of this near term bearish channel and hence it has to break past now 34260 levels in order to trade bullish in order to confirm the breakout the flat bottom here is seen and if you look at the flat top at 34220 levels are seen directional movement is divergent and bullish here and you know sorry you can see the average is the moving average is you can see here 20 50 100 period moving average are divergent and indicating bullishness there now 33 900 levels is something you should watch out for then 33 500 if these two levels are taken it will call for the bears directional movement is bullish stochastic rising the macd has crossed over this is divergent and bullish the rsi is trading flat considering this you can buy at 34 260 sell at 34 180 on the downside be cautious for 34000 34000 33900 33700 see very very strong support i have told you several times that till the time us 30 trades above 33200 33000 levels and 32800 if till the time it respects these levels i will not consider this as bearish and once again the same levels are have been proven out to be a good support on the downside and each of these levels are definitely stronger milestones today's data may bring volatility but you have to trade with the trailing stop loss and keep booking the profits do not think any profit is small or short uh, small or big you have to keep increasing your account size with help of profitable trades take your trades accordingly trade with the stop loss trade with the trailing stop loss do not forget to like share subscribe and comment thank you very much have a great profitable trading day ahead do watch the next analysis join my mentorship batch join my signal channel reach out to me for more details thank you